Hey guys, it's your boy Randomizer Gamerdiz or Crazy Cuber here, and today we'll be taking a look uh, at the GAN 356 Air M, which is another which is another puzzle by GAN Cube. Uh, and yeah, so um, this is kind of like the little brother to the GAN to the GAN 11 to the GAN 11 Pro M, which I'll be reviewing, you know, fairly soon. Um, so this puzzle costs forty seven dollars on the cube on the cube uh, it's not like GAN 356XS, it's not like GAN 356XS expensive, but it's also not as cheap as something like the GAN 354 version 2M. Now this is what the cube looks like, and as you can see right here, it looks, this cube looks kind of, it looks very similar to the GAN 356X version 1 or the XV2. Just some slight differences on the outside. Uh, and yeah, and uh, if we take a look at the mechanism, let me just show y'all. Hold on. So, here's the mechanism, here's the mech of this cube. As you can see, now you're gonna have to trust me on this. Uh, if it looks similar to this, then the mechanism has to be the same, right? Like. There's probably very minor dif minor differences in the mechanism. It still has that honeycomb pattern on the sides right here, uh, but not but not on the uh, but not on the side where the um, the magnet is. It's only on this side and this side. And there's obviously some honeycomb markings in there. If we check, if we check in here. Sorry if, it, sorry if it's very dirty, very very dirty. But as you can see, we have honeycomb there. Honeycomb here and honeycomb pretty much everywhere on this piece and the core is pretty much the same only some slight differences uh, between between this cube and this cube also at least in my personal experience and Jared Cuber's personal experience uh, like the like the GAN X um, if you if you use a looser um, if you use a looser GES nut on uh, this cube and also and also um, the GAN the GAN 356 ARM has the same tensioning system as the, um, as the, I'm pretty sure it has the same tensioning system as the GAN uh, 356X, or it actually might be the same as uh, the 356XS is what I uh, meant. I think it has the same tensioning system as the 356XS, but if it doesn't, I'd recommend using a middle. I don't recommend you using the highest tension uh, the tension nut setting on the uh, on the Air M because it's going to feel very ununique and boring and very rigid and hard. So using something that's a little bit more flexible will help this cube. And in Jr's Jr. Cuber's personal experience with the GAN XV1, uh, and I think if I would use, um, I don't personally own the cube, but honestly, the GAN X and the uh, uh, the GAN Air M are literally like two. They're literally very very similar cubes. So I think if you were to use a higher the highest tension nut setting on the um on the air on the air m i think the cube would feel way too rigid and harsh and uh, and uncomfortable so now the turning and the performance of of this cube of this cube so the turning so the turning of this cube is so the turning of this cube is pretty buttery smooth with a bit of crunchiness in it it's not really that unique it's not really that unique it feels sort of like the previous GAN cubes that came before it. There's really no uniqueness to the turns. It's very similar to the GAN XV1 uh, and other GAN cubes that you know have this uh, black that, that have black internals. Um, I mean, the Air, the GAN 11 Pro, their newest cubes, unique, but this cube really is not. And um, I'm actually going to compare the GAN Air M to the sound of the GAN 356X. Huh. Whoa. Okay, the magnets straight off the bat are pretty strong. Now the Gen X. And even the Gen 354 B2M. Hold on, let me get it real quick. Uh, so here's the cube, here's the puzzle, here's the puzzle right here, now let me just turn it. Mm -hmm. 
Loosening the puzzle definitely does affect the performance as well. I actually didn't really enjoy solving in the cube out of the box just because of the ununique, harsh feeling. Uh, so I adjusted the spring tensions, made it looser. Um, and yeah, so what I mean by looser, I made it pretty, I made it pretty damn loose. Um, well, not that loose, but like I also loosened the tensions a little bit. Or I adjusted the tensions a little bit, loosened and tightened them. It actually has caused a little bit of problems. I had had some pops and some actually pretty... In a case, and uh, once in a while, some pretty big explosions where multiple pieces fall out. Um, so yeah, obviously it's not perfect. There really hasn't been much improvement with it. And again, 356X, I also had trouble finding the right tensions, which should have been improved in this GAN Air M if they were hyping it up, because they were hyping it up. So, yes, I mean, it's not, it's not perfect. It's pretty close, but... Uh, it's like 90 to like 80 to 90 percent close to where I want to be to where I want the cube to be But it's still really not what I prefer um, I, Most of the time I have I struggle trying to perform algs fluidly on this cube um, I think it's due to when you know my hands sweat or actually That well actually my hands could sweat. I really like the um, the dry plastic. I like the frosted plastic but it also can cause some minor distractions and unfluidity because of the slight you know the slight frosted so there's little bumps which would cause my fingers to catch on which can make the cube less fluid um if you know what i'm talking about kind of like, sort of like the kind of like the guan the guan ying with the caps and the slight sandy tex texture that kind of catching that kind of catching it can just be really really annoying fairly annoying and it's literally the exact same as the GAN 350, 356XS and even the XV1 it's literally there's no improvement so overall this cube is pretty much pointless and kind of scammy and I mean um, overall what they did to this cube is they made some minor adjustments to the mechanism uh, they pack they put in the box box they packaged it in a slightly fancy box has almost the ex almost the same mechanism as the previous GAN cubes, which with just some slight tweaking, and they package it, then they mass produce it and ship it out to people, and, and they charge a lot of money for it. I think that's ethically wrong, and I think it should overall. I think she's wrong and ethically wrong, and I think they should do something different. Overall, GAN's kind of been going downhill in 2020, just like with most most things, just like with everything. Basically, at this point, uh, really, I think their cubes are not a big improvement for one another, and this is just one of them. This cube, I think, is on the on the weaker end of puzzles. Now, however, the however the turning power, however the turning power and performance is the cube is very powerful in terms of performance. Honestly, one of the best performing cubes out there right now. I'm not even kidding you. Even though I really have been, even though I went a little bit ham on this puzzle, I think the turning power and performance is really good. It it turns wonderfully. It's buttery smooth. It's what exactly what I want in a cube. The cube has a nice feeling. It's a great feeling, and it really doesn't have that many issues. I I actually will say I do like it better than the Gan X. Uh, the GAN X cubes from previously, but I still prefer some aspects from those cubes uh, over this new over this new cube over the Air M. Um, I still prefer some aspects from the GAN 356 XV1 and the XS and even the XV2. I prefer I, I prefer aspects of those cubes uh, over you know some aspects of the Air M, this new cube. Uh, I just think yeah. So overall. The turning power and so this cube is on the weaker end of puzzles not because the performance the performance is extremely powerful and beautiful however it's however it's it's on the weaker end of puzzles due to it due to the small problems that just make this cube not not great like for example how ununique it feels unforgiving it is the feeling is not unique it's like every other gan cube out there if they just made the feeling more unique, 
if they made it a more unique puzzle, it'd be way more enjoyable for most people. I feel like, I feel like that's the answer. This cube is just not really worth it because it's literally a 356X. X, the fact that I don't even have to buy new cubes to review it, it's just insane. It's insanity. It's insanity. It's re it really is insanity. But, um, I, I just don't understand. I think, uh, GAN has to, um, I'm excited to check out the, uh, GAN 11 Pro-M. I'm hoping it's unique from other GAN cubes, other GAN puzzles. Um, I am hoping that it is. I'm hoping that it's just not one of those, uh, GAN cubes that is just, um, Hopefully when I review it or try to review it, um, I hope it's really unique from other GAM puzzles and I'm hoping that it's not similar and it doesn't suffer the same fate that this cube, you know, has. It's really not that smooth. It's, it has trouble performing at times, even though the performance is great. Abs even though the performance is absolutely fantastic for the most part. It's just still not what I prefer. I would prefer something better. I would prefer an improvement, not a scam that I could get for $50. So overall, this cube is great. It has, power, it has powerful as performance, but this cube is on the weaker end due to its ununiqueness. There's just small little problems, small little issues about this cube that just doesn't quite make it up to par for, mo for most 3x3s. I think this cube it's just another plain, simple, boring GAN cube that performs nicely, but so do other, but so do other cubes, so do other puzzles. They also perform nicely as well. So if I were to give a score to this cube, it would be a one out of, it would be a one out of two points. The reason why I give it that score, um, again, now, now it gets a one, so that's one point of this puzzle. So the one point, so that one point is filled with powerful performance. Beautiful performance, uh, pretty decent corner cutting for the most part. Um, it can have issues with corner cutting at times, so the corner cutting is not even a 1.5, it's more like a 1.4, 1.3. But it's just the little, the little as problems that doesn't quite make this cube great. It's a one out, of, it's a one out of two points. It's all, to, a, a one out of two points is all this cube ever will get. It won't get anything higher, anything lower, just cause of the small little problems and the fact that this cube is just not unique. It's just not right. It just does not feel right. Again, again, this cube is really great. This cube is really great performance wise, but not so great price wise and uniqueness wise. Um, but if you wanna, if you wanna purchase this cube, you can purchase it at thecubeworld.com. Um, you know, you, you just type in uh, thecubicle.com, uh, no spaces. Um, uh, no capitals even, and then you just come it up. You could just um, then it should come up, and just type in just type in Gan Air M, and I I think you should I think you should find it. Um, just type in Gan three fifty six Air M, and that's where you can find the puzzle. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Um, you know, thank y'all for showing me for showing me support. My social medias are um, if you go to playlists on my YouTube channel. Uh, that's where you could find, um, you know, the, that's where you can find the thumbnail, uh, where the names of my social medias are listed on there. Uh, anyway, see you in the next one, guys, and bye. Have a nice day. Bye. read about this and hear this, that you used to go for a long, long time. Yeah, there we go. Visualize, seeing yourself as... Yeah, I'm visualize, uh, yeah, I'm visualize, right, having I mean, a representative interested in me and people that I respect and, uh, um, say, I like your work, whatever that is, and, and, uh, visualize things coming to me that I would want to do whatever, but I don't want to think, oh, I do have these things, they're out there, I just,